Shane Dawson has had a large commercial success in the past year. From releasing a palette with Jeffree Star and more, let's take a look back at how he made a comeback this past year and even throughout the decade. Welcome back to What's Trending. It's your boy, Andy Luani here. Be sure to like and subscribe for more social media news daily. Now, we're here to talk about everything Shane Dawson over the past decade because you know what? He's gone through the highs and lows of anybody else on YouTube and has kind of Seen it all, I'll say it. Yeah, he has. Shane Dawson, legally known as Shane Lee Yaw, was one of the first people to actually rise to fame on YouTube. In 2008, he started uploading videos just as he was 19 years old, garnering over half a million views by 2010. Most of his early days involved sketches that made fun of a lot of popular culture. He even released six original songs. In the beginning, Shane had a lot of sketches and personally, I haven't watched them myself. I enjoyed them. But also he did have some setbacks, some things he got discredited for, and some things that overall weren't best for social media, looking back now. In his early days, he did face a lot of backlash for racist stereotypes. Some of his characters included Shanene, Ned the Nerd, Gangsta SDZ, Barb the Lesbian, Guadalupe, and more. But many were offended when he used blackface to portray people in pop culture and even used the N-word at one point. In his early days of YouTube, Dawson, his mom, and brother worked for Jenny Craig, and he actually lost his job after uploading a video of himself pole dancing at work. Later on in his career, Shane launched his own podcast titled Shane and Friends, which had 140 episodes. Dawson released his first and ever feature film titled Not Cool, which was accompanied by a 10 episode docuseries called The Chair. His film competed against another film called Holidaysburg. Dawson ended up winning the competition, but producer Zachary Kinto found the film tasteless and deeply offensive. Aside from that, over the years, we saw collaborations with OG YouTubers like Tyler Oakley, Joey Graceffa, Miranda Sings, Trisha Paytas, and more. Later on, Shane released two memoirs titled I Hate Myself, a collection of essays, and the other entitled It Gets Worse, a collection of essays. We don't think Shane has really amassed a lot. Let's look at like 2019 and just see what really happened this year. We even saw Shane start to create a new variety of videos on his channel from conspiracy videos and more with his dynamic group Rylan Adams, Morgan Adams, and Garrett Watts. Over time, Dawson started to release a new style of YouTube content, seeing that his old style wasn't as much of what he wanted to do anymore. Throughout the years, Shane focused on a more docu-series style of content that focused in on other YouTubers and online personalities. These series, broken into numerous parts, focused on people like Tana Mojo and Tana Khan, to even the recent The Mind of Jake Paul, The Secret World of Jeffree Star, and The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. These docu-series formats gave audience members a look into Shane's life and others as it shed light on people with some troubled past, which Shane even himself is familiar with. If you haven't kept up with either one of these series, you A, have to do it, B, get a friend and grab some popcorn and do it. C, you should watch it because they're really good and they're actually very well done with reality style concepts and they follow a lot of everyday people or people who seem like they're everyday people. Thanks for watching this video. If you really wanna see more Shane Dawson or you wanna see like what he's gonna do next, leave a comment down below to discuss uh, everything Shane Dawson. For more What's Trending, head over to whatstrending.com and to find me online, go find me at Andy Lawanian on social media.